Welcome! Today I want to show you another plant from my window. It's Senecio rowlianus, or String of Pearls. It is here in the center, right beside it you can see the String of Hearts, Seropegia woodii, and Seropegia woodii is covering a flower of the of Huernia zebrina right underneath. I'm not sure whether you can see it. Is Huernia situla uh, also in bloom and Huernia variegata, which lost its flowers already. So you have seen these plants. I didn't have a chance to show you the string of pearls yet. So let's have a look at the plant from a little bit closer. So this is my plant, the string of pearls, or strings of pearls, because there are several, several stems here. It's not very, very long, because I gave a cutting of it uh, not that long time ago to someone. Um, it is very easy to root the stem uh, from a cutting when you put it in water. I keep this plant, it is planted in a pot, but the pot is in a nice container. I like to keep my plants in nice containers. I usually buy them in second-hand stores. What happened here, I trapped one of the stems inside the container and they grew roots. Right now the container is dry, there is no water in it, but uh, but there must have been some water at one point and, and uh, these roots developed. I'm surprised that the stem is still green, so it is possible that I did it quite recently. Uh, you might also see a flower here. There is a flower. Let's have a look, maybe I can put it a little bit closer. There is a flower here. It might remind you of a flower of a dandelion and this is because Senecio belongs to the same family as dandelions do. The family is called Composite because um, the flowers are not actually single flowers, there are clusters of tiny flowers, so the flower is composed of smaller flowers which act like a single flower. Um, it is a very large family of plants. It is a family that contains all the daisies, all the rudbeckias, uh, sunflowers. Many plants that you can see in nature when you go outside for a walk belong to that family. So a, a, a flower that looks like a like a dandelion or, or looks like a daisy will be a, a, from the family of Composite plants. The flower is dry already. I missed the moment when it bloomed. But it is not a very conspicuous flower. It is not a flower which makes this plant attractive. It's the leaves that are that ha are having a very unusual shape, and that's where the name of the plant, string of pearls. It is sometimes called a rosary plant as well, just because of the shape of the leaves. I like this plant a lot. Actually, a string of pearls was one of the first plants that I have ever had. It is not the same plant. I acquired this one a few years ago, but I remember vividly that I, as a, as a, as a young teenager early, in my early teens, when I was only starting my collection of plants and I was starting to be interested in keeping plants, I had this plant and I was very fond of it and I am still very fond of it. I hope you like it, because I like it a lot. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a great day.